Welcome to uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 coffee mug tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. In this easy to follow instructional video series, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV by using a one simple item as an example, in this case, a coffee mug. I'll walk you through how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, track and manipulate inventory, and much, much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup, Joe, and let's get started, shall we? Hello there, and welcome again to the coffee mug tutorials. What I'm going to show today are cross-references. Basically, um, we have a new coffee mug which is colored uh, and has variants um, which signify the color and the options we have now are red, green and blue and uh, the manufacturer who sent this coffee mug to us actually has barcoded them which is really nice of them however the barcode is not our number uh, and we want to be able to scan it onto our order so we need to put in their number in our system and have that tie to each one of the colors so right now I'm in the item list and I go to the colored coffee mug I can go up here to these arrows and hit cross references and right here since I'm gonna have this work for the item everywhere in the system I'm gonna just fill in the cross reference number and that's gonna be 111001 which is the barcode for red and it's going to be each uh, I have also 111002 which is for blue and that's P's and then I have 111003 which is for green and each piece uh, now I've set up the cross references I could have also done this specifically for customer vendor or even said that it's a barcode I don't have to specify that but I can and I can go into detail in that in later videos or you can just google how that works so I'll close this one out and I'll show you how this works on a sales order I'll go to a sales order right here and create a new one to the Canon group here we go and I go to the type and it's an item now I can't put in the number here what I want to show is a cross-reference number that's a field that's not currently shown uh, so we want to add that I go into choose columns and over here I see the cross-reference number I add that and I'm gonna move it actually all the way up to before the freeze pane so right here actually after num before number that would probably be good uh, then it opens up now I have cross-reference number now we all know the coffee mug uh, is a 70 or 7000 series However, the barcode is 111001 for the red one. So now I'm going to scan the barcode, or pretend to, and that comes in here. And the system automatically identifies that as the red coffee mug. Uh, I see the customer wants four of those. We don't have them, at least on stock. That might be an issue with warehouse. So the next one I can go one 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 zero zero two, etc. And that was it for the cross references. <laughs> 